morning. My name's Barb. I'm the author from the, of the Diaries of Liberty the Pug. Let me introduce you the pugs. This is Liberty. Liberty is blind and they're her stories, true stories, that we love to read to you each week. This is Ebony Rose and this is Pippa with her giraffe right here. Today we're going to continue reading from book nine. Each reading is an individual story. This book is called Discombobulated. And today we're going to read you Rain, Rain, Go Away. Can you see Liberty and Mom right there? Let's get on with the story, shall we? Are you ready, girls? Rain, Rain, Go Away. I'm snuggled up with Mom, trying to forget that I really would like to go potty. Remember, it's Liberty telling the story. It is very cold outside and has been raining all day and the grass is very wet. I hope it stops raining very soon before I get a tummy ache. Ebony, Rose and Pippa are getting restless too, but they don't want to go potty outside in the rain. We do not mind the rain, but the noise of the rain is scary, especially when you're blind. Let me give them one more treat before we get on. They're such good girls for the stories every week. And there you go, Liberty. And Ebony Rose. And Pippa waiting patiently. There you go. We move closer to the patio doors. Ebony Rose, Pippa and I are sitting and listening to the sound of the rain. The rain is making a thunderous noise splattering on the roof that covers the redwood pit. Ebony Rose said it's very dark and very cold outside. Mom and Dad understand going potty in the rain can be very difficult for pets. I hear Mom taking the crinkly plastic raincoat out of the hall closet and opening the sliding patio doors. Oh no, it's time. This is it. Mum is telling Ebony, Rose and Pippa that it's time to be brave and we must all go potty before bedtime. Mum has gently lifted me up in her arms and is carrying me into the garden. I can feel raindrops on my head and the end of my nose. Ebony, Rose shouts out to me. Liberty, don't worry. Mum has a large umbrella. My paws settle on the wet grass. I quickly go potty. Ah, that feels much better. Ebony, Rose and Pippa skedaddle by me. I forgot all about the umbrella that Mum was holding over me to keep me dry. And I speed up and follow after them out of the rain. We're now running through the doggy door one by one and back inside our nice warm and cozy home where dad is waiting for us with warm towels from the clothes dryer. Dad wraps each of us in our own soft towel. We soon feel warm and dry. I sure hope it doesn't rain tomorrow. None of our bedtime shenanigans tonight and wanting to stay up late. We all trot off into mom and dad's bedroom. Mom is helping Ebony Rose put on her magic nighty shirt and giving her Ellie her elephant. Pippa has bestie giraffe, and I can feel Mum's warm hand stroking my forehead. We curl up in our comfy beds, falling asleep, feeling safe. Isn't it wonderful when you're all cozy at home, everyone's accounted for, and they're ready for sleeping. Do you have an umbrella you can hold for your pet when it's raining? Or maybe you have a little raincoat for your pet. It's not any fun for fur babies to go outside in the rain and get wet when they go, wet when they go potty. I'm sure it isn't. But there's something they need to do, right girls? Let me give you one more treat before you say goodbye to all of your friends all over the world. Hi Australia. Hi Great Britain. Hi everywhere to the children who have pets 
I love to listen to us each week. I'll give you one more look at Liberty Out in the Rain today. Remember, if you want to listen to all the different stories, go to www.thediariesoflibertythepug.com. My books are made by Ligeia Books. They are my publishers. If you need any, just go to Amazon or our website. Otherwise, keep listening each week. I'll see you next week. Say bye-bye, girls.